Hey y'all, it's Robert. I'm a public speaker and I've been paid as much as $10,000 for a speech. Now, some people hear that and they're like, oh, that's a lot of money, bro. And then the next question is, how did you get started? Or how do I do that as well? Well, let's talk about that in this video. Hey, welcome back. If you're new to the channel or you've never heard of me before, then what we do here is we talk about public speaking, we talk about storytelling, the techniques and the technologies of storytelling. So if you wanna hear more about that stuff, go ahead and bang, slap that subscribe button and click the bell too so that you can get notified every time I drop a new video. Now, today, you're not here to talk about bells and subscribe buttons, are you? No, you're here to talk about how I got started as a public speaker, as a keynote, as a trainer, as a workshop facilitator, and maybe how you can do the same thing. So I wanna share with you six things that I did when I started out as a speaker. Public speaking is like anything else. You've gotta put some work in. There's some things that aren't so glamorous about it. Although when you see somebody from the stage and they talk and you hear that they got a check, like Bill Clinton made $150,000 for speaking for like 30 minutes. Or you hear that Oprah and Robert F. Smith and all these other people got paid all these thousands of dollars for speaking for 30 minutes or 60 minutes, you're like, hmm, hmm, am I in the wrong field? What's wrong with my career? I'd like to get paid all that money to speak just for 60 minutes. I can talk for 60 minutes. I can talk for 30 minutes. I can talk for however long you want me to talk. Just give me the check. <laughs> Well, like anything else, public speaking does take work. It does take time. And if you're willing to stick with it though, you can really make a decent living at it. So what are the things that I did when I first started out? Well, let's talk about them. The first thing that I did when I knew that I wanted to speak was I hopped on social media. I actually hopped on Twitter and started to look around at people who were public speaking people who were motivational speakers, people who were speakers in other industries, just people who were speaking for a living just to find out who they were, what were some of the keywords or some of the buzzwords that I heard around them and maybe get a glimpse of what they did on their journey in order to become a full-time public speaker. Once I found some people and I started snooping around a little bit, I started to hear the term Toastmasters quite a bit. So that's the second thing that I did. I joined Toastmasters in 2014. Now, Toastmasters, if you've never heard of it, it's an organization that really gives you a place to practice your public speaking, and they have a curriculum that you can walk through so you don't have to guess what you're gonna be talking about or what it is that you need to work on in order to become a better public speaker. With Toastmasters, you start out with small groups of people and you can look for Toastmasters groups in your area. If you just go to Google and you type in Toastmasters in your area, you should be able to find where they are. Or you can just go to toastmasters.org and search for a group in your area. It's a really great place to practice in a low pressure environment where you have people that are able to give you feedback about your speaking prowess or the things that you need to do in order to improve on your public speaking skills. I found it to be a really good place to start. And I also found that going in, I thought that the people in Toastmasters were polished professional speakers and I found quite the opposite. People just like me who were looking to get better at public speaking. So kind of felt like a safe environment for me. And the investment to do that per year was very low, less than $45 for six months. So Toastmasters is one of the number one things that I would recommend if you're looking to get better at public speaking. Here's the thing, Toastmasters teaches you about how to become a more confident speaker. It doesn't teach you necessarily about the business of public speaking. There are other groups that do that. After I joined Toastmasters, the third thing that I really did was start to brainstorm and figure out what I was interested in talking about. You can't be a public speaker if you have no idea what you want to talk about. So I had to figure out a topic. Hmm. What is it that I'm interested in? What do I think about first? 
when I wake up in the morning? What are some things that I could talk about with no problem, no preparation? So I had to figure out what are the things that I was really interested in. And then after that, ask myself the question, is this something that other people are interested in hearing about as well? And maybe even learning about. After I figured out what I wanted to talk about, or at least what I wanted to talk about right at that time. You see, you don't have to nail it right at first. You just have to choose something that you want to talk about. After I chose what I wanted to talk about, the fourth thing that I did was I started to email my friends, letting them know that I wanted to talk about a specific topic. I started asking them, are there opportunities? Are there places that you know that I can talk about this thing? Who do you know that is having a specific challenge? Once I started to reach out to my friends via email, via text, via phone call, I started to get some callbacks and people started to say, hey, yeah, we're experiencing this. Or I heard that this group, I heard that somebody else was trying to talk about this or somebody's having a problem with this. Once I started to get some callbacks from my friends, now I needed to expand a little bit more. I started to employ some different strategies. One of the things that I did was I started to connect with co-working spaces and partnering with them to see if I could hold workshops on specific topics. I started to talk about a lot of different things. I started to talk about leadership. I started to talk about entrepreneurship and small business. I started to talk about education or online courses. Those are things that I knew about. And the more that I began to talk about these things, the more that I began to become known for some of these things. And I started to get some calls to speak about these topics to other organizations. One of the other things that I did was I started to call Kiwanis clubs or Lions clubs in the area just to find out if they wanted somebody to speak for one of their meetings upcoming just to find out if they had room on their calendar for somebody to speak at an upcoming meeting. It's a really great way to get some practice in your topic area. And also, Kiwanis Clubs and Lions Clubs are places that professionals, especially people that are moving closer to retirement, that want to be able to give back to their communities. These are professionals, and they also have connections and networks. Number six, one really good thing that I did once I had locked in on a specific topic or two that I wanted to speak about was I began to look up companies, training companies specifically online who were training other organizations in that same topic area. And I began to look to see if I could get hired by them or partner with them or just be their face in a specific area. And the thing here is that you wanna connect with a company that is training on something that you are interested in. You don't wanna start training or speaking or talking about topics you're not interested in because after a little bit, it becomes really challenging, hard, you feel like you're forcing it and you don't wanna do that. Ask me how I know. So those are six things that I did as I started the journey of public speaking. Now, I'm not guaranteeing you that if you do these six things, you'll get paid an exact dollar amount when you begin your journey as a public speaker. What I am saying is that if you do these things, it will begin to open the door. You'll begin to get connected to other people and you'll begin to get information and resources and connections that will help launch you on your journey as a public speaker. If you want to learn more about this journey of public Public speaking in my journey in particular I've got courses on that topic one is called zero to paid as a public speaker I'll share a link for that course in the comments below and if you have any other thoughts or questions about becoming a public speaker go ahead and leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to respond to that comment let me know what you think subscribe to the channel again bing, bing, smash that bell hit that bell so that you can be notified when I drop another video I'll see you in the next video